My dad, Colonel John McHugh, he was born in Caldwell, New Jersey, and he grew up playing every sport you could imagine. He was, when I go back and talk to his friends, he was an all-American apple pie kid. Um, he went to the West Point, the United States Military Academy. He played soccer there, he was a goalkeeper. He still holds the record for saves. So he's one of West Point's best goalkeepers. And um, just growing up with him was great. Everything about him, he was happy. I don't think I can remember my dad complaining. It was just, it was so confusing. And the following day was just a blur. The following couple weeks were just a blur. I, when I think back to that time, I. I can't really make out a certain day or what we did during that day, but it was just everything kind of molded into one, people coming, people going, and yeah, it really, it just was really surreal. It was, it was crazy. I have four siblings and my mom, and everybody deals with it so differently. And nobody deals with it better than the other person, just everybody deals with it differently. And so I think you would see times when I would be really sad, and then you'd see times when my mom would be really sad, and then not, we were all sad, but you would ever, it would hit everybody at different times. I found out about Children of Fallen Patriots through a friend whose father was also killed in action. Um, he actually attended K-State too, and I was asking him about the GI Bill and about things like that and just money and how he went about things and because I was so confused I, I had no idea how to do any of it and he told me about Children Fallen Patriots and I was kind of like wow that's that's really cool that's almost too good to be true. You know from day one not only were they there for me you know financially and they helped me so 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 much um, but they were there for me they I still I've been graduated for more than a year and they still give me phone calls hey how are you doing things like that I made relationships with people who've been through the same things or who know people who've been through the same things and you know just having that connectivity with people like that was incredible and then also having like the, the financial help as well was was amazing I mean I you know I can't when I first heard about it, and then when I started, even when I was going through it and working with Children of Fallen Patriots and being a recipient of all of their amazing help, it was, it was always, even now, it's almost too good to be true. They're, it's a fantastic organization, so. I'm able to start my life and really, you know, build towards a great career and a great future, and I'm engaged, and that's awesome. I'm, I met a guy at K-State who I, I swore I'd never get married and I'd never, you know, I want a family to, you know, kind of go through what my family did unless I met a guy who reminded me of my dad and I met the perfect guy. So, yeah, so I mean, I'd like to think that my dad would be proud. I think he would just, you know, think it's pretty cool that I'm a sports writer and um, those are things that I just would give anything to share with him. Um, so I hope you'd be, be proud of me where I'm at right now. Um, I'd like to think he would be. So, and I, I mean, just to think of the sacrifice he made for my family and for our whole country, I mean, it's the best I can do to live my life in a way that, you know, would make him proud every day. I think about him every day and think about, you know, what he would want me to do and how he would want me to live my life. And so I hope, I hope I'm on that path.